Hi everybody, so I've done an initial setup of my Uhuru UM900 USB uh, microphone sets that uh, the people at Uhuru were kind enough to send me to kind of give you an idea of, of how big it is and uh, how I how I might be using it. So I don't really have a, I don't have a table here in the uh, in the computer stroke game room stroke spare room. Um, so I've kind of had to to open this drawer to to fix the um, the cantilever arm clamp on there, um, so that means it can kind of swing around like that, and then you can lock it off with that. Then you can see we've got the cantilever arm, which you can kind of move around and sort of put into different locations like that. There's the the kind of spit uh, um, plosive filter, um, which uh, the idea is it, it gets rid of the. P and the tuz, that sort of stuff. And there you can see the USB mic itself with the lead kind of going off to my laptop. Um, and the mic itself is, is, it might be difficult to see, but it's suspended on like a sprung-loaded uh, cradle so that it should be isolated from sort of movement. Say you accidentally kick, kick your desk or knock your desk or something like that. Um, that should uh, stop the sound transmitting through through to the mic so as you can see <laughs> looks pretty cool doesn't it <laughs> it's very it's nice and big I like the fact that I can kind of sit in lots of different situations say I can sit with it uh, sort of in front of my laptop for recording say directly to the laptop or you know if I need to kind of swing things around and be playing um, you know video game and recording um, uh, some some audio while I'm doing that, then uh, that's a possibility too. So yeah, there we go. That's what the Huru um, UM900 uh, professional USB condenser microphone set. They say for podcasting, but for general recording, kind of kind of kind of looks at with my rather nice map of uh, Chernarus from Daisy in the background. So I don't know. It's funny when you get sometimes when you get gadgets. Kind of inspires you to do other things, doesn't it? And I'm kind of, am I am I inspired to start podcasting again? I don't know. I don't know. I did do the SEL photography podcast for, I think, over 200 episodes. If you if you just search the web for SEL, so Subject Composition and Light Photography Podcast, it's still out there somewhere. I still I know I still pay for the hosting for the server for it. Um, do I really want to get into that? Because podcasting's are bigger than ever, aren't they? And I did. I mean, I probably finished doing that podcast four years ago, and I did it well for 200 episodes once a week. So that's I must have done it for almost four years in and of itself. And but podcasts are huge now, aren't they, compared to what they were back then? So I don't know, but it's a it's a big time and effort thing. But anyway, there we go. So that's the Uhu um, UM900. What I'll do is I will now do some audio testing with it um, and upload some videos with, with audio so we can kind of get an idea of, of what it sounds like. But anyway, I'll put a link to where you can get this on Amazon in the video description down below. Thank you very much and I'll see you again soon.